Hello, good people of Nigeria. You welcome to another interesting edition of the program, Our Culture with Esther Omobude on Radio Ojo and online television. On today's edition, we'll be talking about our one superhero in Nigeria, in a dull state, to be precise, in Benin City. This is the story of Aruan of Udo the giant prince of Benin Kingdom, who uprooted palm trees with his bare hands. Oba Ozolwa, also called Ozolwa Nibaoni, meaning conqueror, was an important Oba in the history of Benin Kingdom. He reigned between 1483 and 1514. One of Ozolwa's wife, Queen Ohomi, gave birth to a baby boy in the morning named Idubo, who was fondly called Arwan. Arwan did not cry immediately after his birth, and during that era, it was considered a taboo to announce the birth of a mute baby to the king. However, another wife of Oba Ozolwa, Queen Idia, the subject of the famous first mask, put to bed in the evening of the same day. Her baby, named Osawe, cried as soon as he was born. Osawe's birth was reported to King Ozolua, who instantly performed necessary rites and declared him his first son and crowned prince, automatically making Arwan Idubo the second son. Growing up, Arwan constantly felt sad about being cheated of his birthright. Actually, Oba Ozolua had two sons before, but they were both kidnapped by Oduomomu during the period of the slave trade. As time went on, Idubo grew up to become a great warrior with imposing size and strength. He was a giant who could uproot palm trees with his bare hands to sweep. Osawe, on the other hand, quite lacked combat experience as a result of having to attend the school of Portuguese missionaries rather than joining his father on the battlefield. Osawe was named the Edaiken Oba in awaiting of the Benin Kingdom, while Arwan was appointed the Duke of Udo, the hometown of Oba Ozolwa's mother, and the second largest and most important town in the kingdom at that time. Arwan was not happy about playing second fiddle to his brother. After the demise of Oba Ozolwa, Ozolwa Prince Osawe became the Oba of Benin Kingdom and took the title of Oba Esigi. As the Enogi of Udo refused to accept a subordinate role to his brother, Arwa wanted to make Udo the capital of Benin Kingdom, but was confronted by war by his brother, who deceived him and buried their father in Benin City. Arwa, who was bigger and stronger than his brother Oba Esigi, could have easily killed his brother, but Oba Esige's mother, Queen Idia, supported him spiritually. Arwan realized that he had to equip himself with supernatural powers if he wanted to defeat Queen Mother Idia, who was her son's supernatural defender. So he sojourned to Uroho village to learn the art of black magic from an old sorceress, Iye Nuroho. That he chose a woman as a teacher is a clear recognition that his opponent was a woman and that he had to learn the ways of female mystical powers to gain victory. The two brothers went to battle against each other three different times. They fought both night and day. The third battle coincided with the planting season where Udo citizens, soldiers who were mainly farmers, were busy on their farms. Meanwhile, Arwan had two sons, Akpanabira and Oni Oni, but Akpanabira had died before the war, leaving Arwan with only one son, Oni Oni. Prior to the third battle, Arwan had instructed his son to stay at home and wait for his return. He also instructed his household to listen out for the sound of a magical bear, which he placed somewhere in the house. He explained that if it drummed, they should know that he had been defeated in the battle. Later on, as he fought in the war front, Arwan sighted a young man fighting just like him. He was shocked and annoyed, and without a second thought, he used a powerful incantation 
commanding the sword to immediately kill the copycat fighter. At that moment, the warrior dies, only for Aruan to realize that the man who possessed his fighting skills was his beloved son, Oni Oni. Aruan wasn't aware that his son had sneaked along to join in the war. In rage and pain, Aruan intensified his onslaught on his brother's army until there was no war until there was no winner in the battlefield. When victory was not forthcoming, Aruan decided to run home on time. By this time the magical bear at home was sounding, and therefore, although people believed Oba Esige had conquered their due, this perceived tragedy caused his wife to jump into a river close to the lake. Odigi. He drowned and died. As soon as Aruan got home, he was so sad. His sons were gone, now his wife. A depressed Aruan also jumped into the lake. He didn't want to be captured as a prisoner and taken back to Benin. Before jumping into the lake, Aruan left his Evie Cora Beat necklace given to him by his father, dangling from a tree branch where it could be easily found. Only the other could inherit such trophies of dead or conquered leaders and nobles. Now, Oba Esige, out of excitement, wore his late brother's necklace. He became mentally derailed. Immediately, he put the necklace around his neck. Removing it from his neck made no difference. His mother, Queen Idia, sought after a Yoruba Babalawo, brought him to Benin to work on the king's spiritual helmet. He cured the other of his helmet. And the queen, after rewarding him generously, insisted that the Babala was settled permanently in Benin to continue to render his service. He set up his home at Ogbelaka quarters, where his descendants have strived until this day. Many believe that Aruan did not die inside the Lake Odigi. The claim is still come out at night to parade the town of Udo providing protection for his people. Even as of 2017, it is forbidden to drink the water or touch the water from the lake. It is also forbidden to kill or eat any animal around the lake because the waters were sacred. And that is the story of Arua. That is where we are going to draw the curtain of today's edition on the program our culture see you next time nigeria great people beautiful people unity in diversity all right guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel click on the bell notification icon follow us on facebook on instagram and we promise to eat you with the latest of news gist and entertainment remember it's radio audio and online tv stay safe